Given the equation 6x minus 2y plus 10 equals 0, find the slope-intercept equation of a parallel line passing through minus 2 minus 7. Graph the original line and the parallel line on the same coordinate grid. Step 1 is to convert the given equation, 6x minus 2y plus 10 equals 0, to slope-intercept form so we can get the slope. We write 6x minus 2y plus 10 equals 0. Move 6x and 10 across the equals and change their sign. Divide both sides by minus 2 to isolate y. The equation is y equals 3x plus 5. Let's graph the line. The slope is 3. In step 2, we'll gather data for the second line. We know a point exists on the second line at minus 2, minus 7. The second line is parallel to the first line, so the slope is 3. In step 3, we'll determine the equation of the second line. Should we use slope-intercept form or slope-point form to get the equation of the line? Use slope-intercept form since the y-intercept is easily read from the graph. Start with y equals mx plus b. Plug in the slope for m and the y-intercept for b. The equation of the second line is y equals 3x minus 1. Given the equation x plus 6y minus 18 equals 0, find the slope-intercept equation of a perpendicular line passing through 4 minus 1. Graph the original line and the perpendicular line on the same coordinate grid. Step 1 is to convert the given equation, x plus 6y minus 18 equals 0, to slope-intercept form so we can get the slope. We write x plus 6y minus 18 equals 0. Bring x and minus 18 across the equals and change their sign. Divide both sides by 6 to isolate y. The slope-intercept equation is y equals minus 1 over 6x plus 3. Draw the line. The slope is minus 1 over 6. In step 2, we'll gather data for the second line. We know a point exists on the second line at 4 minus 1. The second line is perpendicular to the first line, so the slope is 6. In step 3, we'll determine the equation of the second line. Should we use slope-intercept form or slope-point form to get the equation of the line? Use slope-point form since the y-intercept is not easily read from the graph. Start with y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plug in the coordinates of the point for x1 and y1 and plug in the slope for m. This gives us y plus 1 equals 6x minus 24. Now isolate y.
The equation of the second line is y equals 6x minus 25. 